Hello, Aubrey of the Red Shirt here, and this is my Let's Play of Shadow. Now, I have started a game, but I'm kind of at a point where I can't get any further. I think I'm messed up. So I'm going to start a new game and let you guys see it. I hope you enjoy. Yes. William. <gasps> Who? Who's calling me? Ha! Huh? You're recovering consciousness. I feared you might forget me. Princess but Teddy Bear. Who are you? I... I can't remember anything. I'll explain everything to you later on. First of all, we have to push the shadows back. For all I know, they're your doing, Teddy I can Bear. I see light underneath. Follow me. Look, William, we found one of your memories. Your deepest fears will try to catch it. We need more light to protect it. Your companion, the Collector, absorbs the light from the luminous well. This light allows you to summon other companions to defend you. Mm -hmm. On you go. Place Come some on, Collectors let near me the well. Click. There we go. Put you in the circle. Summon. There we go. So you can only have two of them because there's only two round spots around the well. The light well, I guess is what they call it. Alright. Now I got my cash is receding. Falling. Smashing. It allows us to place more companions to attack the shadows. <sighs> I'm still looking. Look sick. out! What is it? It's forgetfulness. The shadows are going to come out and try to wolf down your memory. Because they're starving and very malevolent, apparently. Place some shooters quickly on the area, thanks to the light you collected. Oh, come on, let me click it, please. Sheesh. Okay, now you can only put these down when it's green, obviously. And watch this, it'll... We're seeing the shadow as well, because it's apparently what things that shoot do. Alright, I'm gonna try to reveal as much of the path as I can, so I'm gonna space these puppies out, because I don't have a healer right now anyway. That comes later. Okay. Alright. Now I'll just wait till we have more light. Okay, here we go. Oh, whoops. Here we go. Gloomio, tiny weak shadow. Come on, two more and I can get there. We go. See, that's the Gloomio. They're both Gloomios. Yep. My guys are having no problems. Because, you know, this is the tutorial level, but, yeah, hey. This might be a problem for someone if they didn't know what they were doing. It does a little bit of hand holding that one. So, yeah, it kind of gets through. Oh, I think that's it. I think we won. Memory is saved. Huzzah! Woohoo! Just a minute, I Fantastic! Guess. We've won! That's it! I remember! You're my teddy! Yes, indeed, William. It's me. Looks a lot better you than that picture, though, doesn't it? You have me from forgetfulness. Of course, William looks younger, too. Gosh, what's that? This is your memory, William. Forgetfulness has nearly covered up all your memories. 
Well, you can't forget them. But I don't remember anything. Not quite. You still haven't forgotten one of your more recent memories. If we manage to protect it, you will certainly remember more. Alright, since the tutorial level is a bit short, we will do level 1 as well. My pug dog staring at me. Being weird. Sniffed. He licked my pant leg. Such a weird little dog. Fantastic! Some new companions have just come out of Yay. your memory to help you. Alright, first things first, let's get the suckers. I don't know what to call them. I mean, they suck down the light. So I'm thinking maybe like vacuums. Call them little vacuum dudes. Or suckers, whichever. Alrighty, so now I have new peeps. So this is my old dude, the shooter. This guy's new, the projector. This guy's actually pretty cool. Let's see. Continuous beam of light that damages all enemies that it touches. Checkpoint. And this guy. These are good for the little eggs. I think I hear some being spawned, so actually I need to get one out there as soon as possible. Alright, here we go. There are some with hard shells. And this dude needs to break them before the other guys can hurt them at all. So, I'm gonna try to put two. I don't know why they're taking so long to get here. Maybe I'm not hearing them spawning. Maybe it's something else. Oh, that's what it is. It's the sucking noises. These guys make these little sucking noises. They're hilarious. Alright. Shooter. Start the other side going. Now, how I like to play is I like to get the little light you know, light suckers in position first because they continue to collect light, which is, you know, money, so that I can spawn in my other things, you know, their companions to protect my memory. There we go. Well, let's get one of you guys. Projector. Because they're awesome. Right. Get him, boys. I don't even hear any of them being spawned. Let's try to get closer. We'll put one here. Uh oh, a new enemy. That is a ra raven. Send swarms of crows to temporarily reduce the companion's zone of light. Oh, so you can see it shrunk, and then it grew back, and then this one shrunk. Hopefully it'll grow back too. It will eventually. You know, I guess put a new one in. quite nicely. Yes, yeah, so you can sell them or upgrade them if you have. See, I can get 25 light out of this guy. He cost me 50, so... What is it? Half these? This one's 40 and he cost 80, so yeah, it's half. So let's see, 30? Yep. See, so half of what you paid for him, so I mean... Obviously, you want to try to not put them someplace you don't need them, but if you do, it's not a complete loss. And the big guy. Can't click on him. Oh, giant. Slow but very resistant. Well, we're getting his health down quite nicely, though. Put another one here. Let's see, we're about halfway done, it looks like. 
usually there's a big one at the end. I don't know what level they start coming out. I don't really remember. But they have like big, I'd call them mini bosses at the end of each level that you have to, well you don't have to kill them. You just have to make sure that this bar on your memory doesn't reach a zero. So if you don't stop all of them, you don't have to freak out, but you know, I try not to leak any. You know, as much as possible. No, I probably already have enough to take care of everything else as level has to offer, but you know, since I don't have anything else to do, I'm just gonna spawn in new stuff. Now, that's another thing. That's one thing I, I do like this game. It's interesting, I think, but one thing I don't like is the spawn in time, okay? Here, let's see. Click on one of them, right? And you put them down, okay? Now look at that. He has to go, he has to put them, and then they have to spawn in. So if you're in dire need, by the point you need that there, it had already, be, uh, it had already better be up and established. Otherwise, you're SOL, okay? Because, yeah, so you gotta think a little bit ahead. Try to outthink your opponents, which I guess, you know, does add a little bit of strategy to the game, you know. But at the same time, it also slows down your placement. It slows down your placement of your units. And you can't spawn, you can't just like click here, you know, just click spawn one in and immediately just go, oh, I'm gonna do another one. No. You have to wait until it's done, so you can select anything else. Which I think is also, like, I can understand if it, you know, why did out that one, or just so that you could, you know, do, like, spam it or whatever, but I don't think, you know, you should be able to go back and get other ones as well. Maybe be able to stack actions. Like, okay, so first I want to do this one, right? Okay, and then I want to do this one here, and then have him have your character, William, do a order. See, that would that would make it easier, I guess, which, you know, that would avoid, but I, I think it could have been done better. The interface could have been done better, so you don't have to keep trying to click and click and click. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. If you could stack actions, that would make it, you know, that would make at least my thought process go faster. Because if I have to stop, like if there's a, like I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this step, and I'm gonna do this step, and then I'm gonna do this step, and then I want to be able to input it and have the computer carry it out. I want the program the game to do what I wanted to do. I don't want to have to go back and figure out what I'd already decided to do again. You know? I don't know. See, like this guy. This is a big boy. And I think he might actually get through. He's only at half health, and he's almost there, so he might just be getting through. And I don't have anything really else to do to him. If I see, look, watch this. I'm gonna, I can add something here, right? It won't be spawned in by the time he's through. <gasps> Maybe. <gasps> look at that. See how long it takes. If he had been any closer, it wouldn't have worked. Of course, I don't think my dude got a shot off. Likewise, anyway, he was dead first. So yay, he didn't get through. Huzzah! Woohoo! Yep. Go William, go William, it's your birthday. No, oh, wait, it's your memory. <laughs> oh no! <gasps> Somebody's scared. Nightmare mode unlocked. See, that's what I like, okay. The picture that you unlock, your memory is just... To me, it looks like it could be a nightmare, but then you unlock nightmare mode? I'm like, really? I know it makes it harder or whatever, but... It's like, it already seems like it'd be a nightmare to me. Oh, that's it. 
I remember something. And the voice acting for him. Congratulations! Him. We have succeeded in protecting this memory. Here we are. You're starting to recall things bit by bit. Go on like that. I'm sorry, but I don't remember the bear doing anything to help me. Did you hear this? Wouldn't it be, did you hear that? It's, uh, these guys didn't oh, speak English as their first language. It looks like your drawing book. Oh, it's the book I drew all the ideas I had my mind on. Let's choose one among your numerous ideas to help us protect your next memory. Let's try a spell. Mm-hmm. I've, I've never actually tried. I think I could probably do that, but they want me to get a spell. So this is your upgrade system. You get one after you beat a level. Upgrade your guys, or you can give yourself spells. Now, let's see, I do this one. I did this one last time. No, I messed up. So what I'm gonna do? Sacrifice 40% of. Okay, this one. This one's a good one, but I don't. I don't think I need it really quite yet. I want to be able to heal them first. Double the amount of collected luminous resource. So it's during 20 seconds. So that's not a whole lot. Um. Protection. Uh, okay, now where's the slow? I thought there was a slow one. Ah, this one. I think I'm going to heal first. Hmm. I could do the slow one and then... Oh, Jesus. Jeez Louise. I'm going to heal first. And the next one is going to be able to... Sac I'm going to sacrifice the health of my companions to get back to the memory. Oh, the book lies dormant. As soon as a memory is saved, it must wake, I assume. Really, Bear? You can choose one of your book ideas to each memory saved and complete nightmare and completed nightmare mode. Should be four, but you know. Alright. That will conclude this episode of my let's play of shadow hope you enjoyed it if you did please like it favorite it and subscribe so you don't miss any future updates thank you for joining me bye